Hey everybody, Jeff here with POD Insights. I recently got a question from a viewer about the payment settings in your Printify account because I did a video a while back going through the store settings for Printify, but I did not cover the payment settings. And I thought it was a great question, so we're gonna take a few minutes today and talk about the two options that Printify gives you for paying for the fulfillment of your orders. So if you're interested in learning why you might uh, wanna use either method, stick around. Okay, so we are on the payment setting page and you can get there by going to your little green um, account or profile icon up in the top right corner on Printify and then either go to my account or you can go directly to payments. Uh, if you did go to my account, it is over on the left side of the screen over there as one of the options as well. You have a few tabs here on the payments page, but the payment settings will be the default tab that it opens up to here. You also have a history of transactions that'll show individual transactions on your account. Uh, invoices, which are exactly what they sound like. It's a uh, collection of transactions grouped together by period of time. Good to have access to if you ever need to go back uh, and look at something from prior months. And then you've also got a, a history of withdrawals, which if you never take money out of your account will be an empty or blank section. Uh, first, before we dive into the payment settings, let me also mention that on the bottom of this page, that the uh, opening tab here, is also where you will see your Printify Premium subscription settings here. And if you currently pay for Printify Premium monthly, you would see the option to go to an annual subscription. If you don't currently have Printify Premium at all, you would see the option to enroll here. But we're not talking premium today, we're talking the payment settings. So let's scroll back up and talk about each of the two settings and why you may or may not wanna use each one. We will start with the uh, easier of the two, and that is the setting up a credit or debit card. So that's the one on the left side here. If you click on this box, you'll get a pop-up window that gives you all of the fields necessary to add your credit card information as well as your billing address. And you simply hit at the bottom here, you'll hit the uh, add card green button, and it will validate your credit card information and save it to your account. So. Couldn't get much easier than that. But what happens if you do that? Well, because uh, with the print-on-demand business model, uh, you have to pay for the fulfillment of your orders. It doesn't automatically come out of your Etsy account, right? Etsy pays you and then you pay the, uh, the print-on-demand supplier, which in this case is just gonna be the Printify platform. They're the intermediary for all, all of the suppliers. That's why you need to have some type of payment on file to begin with. But what happens if you save a credit or debit card is that each individual order will be charged to the card that you've saved on file. And that's assuming that the balance in your account is zero. So if this current balance up here was zero, then the next order that comes in when it goes to fulfillment will be charged to that credit or debit card that you have on file. So why would you want to go with this option? Well, first of all, it's easy. You don't have to worry about uh, anything once you save your credit or debit card, uh, as long as you know nothing happens to your card where you have to replace it uh, because it gets lost or stolen or something like that. You really don't have to worry about very much after you've saved it to your account. Otherwise, it's very low maintenance. Um, and there are no, as it mentions here on the page, they don't charge you any fees or anything like that. So it is actually a, a pretty easy method to go with. Now, the reason why some people don't use this method is because each individual order getting charged to your credit card, if you're doing a pretty high volume of business, that will result in a lot of individual charges on any given day. So let's say you, know, you get 10 or 20 orders in, an, in one day, each one of those that goes to fulfillment is a separate charge on your credit card. And one of the things that happens, at least in the US, I'm not sure if it happens in other countries, I'm guessing it probably does, um, with credit card companies, is that they monitor your account for uh, any indication of fraud. And one of the things that can indicate fraud is repeated charges for the same dollar amount over a short period of time. So let's say you get 20 orders for a t-shirt and that the order fulfillment cost for you is $11.50. I'm just making that up. You're going to have 20 separate charges for $11.50 on that credit card in one day. 
and that can for some credit card companies look like fraud and in which case if they if it triggers a fraud alert you know you'll get a call or an email or a text message saying we detected fraud and we froze your account right and then you have to call them <laughs> to get it unfrozen and get everything back on track and if that happens frequently it can be a hassle right okay that's that's pretty annoying if that happens a lot so it kind of depends on your credit card company I've never had a problem with that. I have had a, um, a credit card saved to my Printify account. Uh, and I've, let's see, it's been a little, just a little over a year um, since I've had a Printify account. And I've never had an issue where my credit card company like locked my card because they thought it was fraud. But if you try to use that and, and you do run into that problem, that can be a reason why you may wanna go with option B, which is to add a balance to your Printify account. And you do that, the way they support it is by using PayPal. So if you click on this uh, option on the right, the first thing it's gonna do is ask you to enter a dollar amount. So let's say you put in you know, $500. When you hit transfer, that's gonna pop up a, uh, a second window that will log you in or bring you to the login if you're not already logged in to your PayPal account, and it will basically work just like any other PayPal checkout that you would do if you were shopping online. It'll take you to a page that tells you here's what you're spending, which payment method do you wanna use, double check your billing or your shipping address, in this, in this case you're not shipping anything, and then just hit submit or I think it's continue or something like that. And it brings you back here to the Printify site and you will see that the funds were added to your, to your balance up here. And you can see I do have a balance right now I'll explain why in just a minute. Um, and so that's how that works. So the downside to that is that it is on you to remember to come back periodically and add to your balance. And what I recommend doing, at least at first, is don't add, you know, consider how much you are gonna be spending in fulfillment expenses each month and don't add more than a month's worth at a time. So, you know, if, if on an average month, you're looking at you know maybe spending five hundred dollars or a thousand dollars on order fulfillment costs go with that put that amount in and come back you know at the end of the month there and then do what makes sense for you i'm just you know recommending to start with don't put more in there than you think you're going to need for one month um, because you want if it was on a credit card you want to make sure that you're going to get those funds back to pay your statement balance uh, at the end of that month. So the upside of doing this is that it's fewer transactions if you're using a credit card, less likely to trigger those fraud alerts. And I hope this video also helped explain the two different options you have for funding your order fulfillment on Printify. Let me know if you have any other questions about the uh, payment settings for Printify or Printful because Printful has a very si uh, similar setup where they have a, a wallet you know, kind of account where you can add a balance as well. It works basically the same. Uh, you can you can use the same strategy if you use Printful instead of Printify uh, by using PayPal to add to your balance or by saving a credit card on file. So either platform, it works pretty much the same. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I hope that this was helpful. See you next time.